Good morning, students. Yes, students. As you know, we are doing exercise nine, which is related with word problems of addition. Exercise nine, word problems of additions. Yes, students. Question number one to six. Question number one to six we already discussed in previous lecture. So now I am starting from uh, seventh question. Yes, students. Seventh question of exercise nine. Yes, students. Your seventh question is: In an election, there were four candidates. In an election, there are four candidates. They received uh, thirty-nine thousand four hundred fifty-six votes, uh, twenty-four thousand nine hundred forty-seven votes, eight thousand six hundred ninety-eight votes, nine hundred seventy-eight votes, respectively. It means votes received by first candidate. Vote received by first candidate is ninety. Uh, sorry, votes received by first candidate thirty nine thousand four hundred fifty six, and votes received by second candidate is twenty four thousand nine hundred forty seven. Next is votes received by third candidate. Uh, third candidate received eight thousand six hundred ninety-eight votes, and uh, fourth candidate received only nine hundred seventy-eight votes. Dear yes, friends, four candidates are there in an election. Four candidates are there, there and uh, votes received by these four candidates are given. Now, next point is if two thousand three hundred sixty-seven. If two thousand three hundred sixty-seven votes were found invalid, now find how many votes in all were polled. How many votes in all were polled uh, means we will find total number of votes in this area. Yes, friends. To find the total number of votes, first we will write the uh, votes received by four candidates. Then we will write invalid votes. Then we add these five numbers and find. Uh, for this, we will find the total votes polled in this area. Yes, friends. First, we will write votes received by four candidates. Votes received by by four candidates. These are first candidate received thirty nine thousand thirty nine thousand four hundred fifty six votes. First candidate received thirty nine thousand four hundred fifty six votes. Second candidate received twenty four thousand twenty four thousand. Nine hundred forty-seven votes, and third candidate received eight thousand. Now start right from here. Eight thousand. Eight thousand six hundred ninety-eight. Zero, and fourth candidate received only nine hundred seventy-eight votes. Say nine hundred seventy-eight votes. Yes, students. Whenever we write these numbers, so note only these statements very carefully. First candidate said thirty-nine four hundred fifty-six. Second twenty-four thousand nine hundred forty-seven. 
third candidate received 8698 and third candidate received only 978 votes now right invalid votes invalid votes votes invalid valid votes are 2367 2367 now find the total votes polled in this area total votes to find the total votes we will add these five numbers dear students now we we'll start from uh, right hand side first 6 plus 7 yes students 6 plus 7 is 13 13 plus 8 13 plus 8 is 21 13 plus 8 is 21 Twenty-one plus eight is twenty-nine. Twenty-nine, and twenty-nine plus six. Twenty-nine plus six. Thirty-six. So write here six and three. Okay. Clear, beta. Six plus seven is thirteen. Thirteen plus eight twenty one. Twenty twenty one plus eight twenty nine. And twenty nine plus seven thirty six. So right here six and three carry over. Now three plus five. Three plus five eight. Eight plus four, twelve. Eight plus four, twelve. Twelve plus nine, twenty-one. Twelve plus nine, twenty-one. Twenty-one plus seven. Twenty-one plus seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-eight plus six is thirty-four. So write here four and three. Cat. Clear, beta. Next is three plus four. Next is three plus four, seven. Three plus four, seven. Seven plus nine, seven plus nine, sixteen. Seven plus nine, sixteen. Sixteen plus six, twenty-two. Sixteen plus six, twenty-two. Twenty-two plus nine, twenty-two plus nine. Thirty-one. And thirty-one plus three. Thirty-one plus three is thirty-four. For thirty-four, write here four and three. Okay. Clear, students. Next is nine plus three. Nine plus three is twelve. Nine plus three, twelve. Twelve plus four, 
16. 12 plus 4, 16. 16 plus 8. 16 plus 8. 24. 24 plus 2 is 26. So write here 6 and 2. Now 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So total votes polled in this area are 76,446. Total votes polled in this area is 76,446 votes. Clear students? So this is question number 7 of exercise 9. Next is question number 8. Yes students, now 8th question is Ajay's income during the year 2011. Ajay's income in 2011 was Rs. 1,67,489. Next year, his income is increased by 38,798. Now, uh, first part, in first part, we'll find what was his income in 2012. To find the income of 2012, first we will write income of 2011. Then we will write increased income. We'll add these two numbers and find Ajay's income in 2012. Now, second part of this question is, how much did he earn in these two years? To find the total income, first we'll write income in 2011. Then we will write income in 2012. Then we will add and find the total income during these two years. Yes, students, in eighth question, uh, he's asked two questions. First part is, uh, what was his income, Ajay's income in 2011? In first part, we will find Ajay's income in 2012. And in second part, we will find how much Ajay, Ajay earns uh, during these two years. Yes, friends. Now, eighth question, first part. Eighth question, first part. Now, first we'll write Ajay's income in 2011. Income in 2011 is rupees. <coughs> One lakh sixty seven thousand. One lakh sixty seven thousand four hundred eighty nine rupees. One lakh sixty seven four hundred eighty nine. Now it increased. It increased. Increased by how much income is increased? 38,000 rupees. 
38,000. His income is increased 38,798. Now, in first part, find Ajay's income in 2012. Find Ajay's income in 2012. Yes, students, to find his income in 2012, we will add these two numbers. First, 9 plus 8. 9 plus 8 is 17. 9 plus 8, 17. So write here 7 and 1. Carry. Now the 1 plus 8. 1 plus 8. 9. 9 plus 9. 18. 18. Right here, one. Eight, eight, and one. Now, one plus four. One plus four is five, and five plus seven, twelve. One plus four, five. Five plus seven, twelve. So, right here, two and one k. Next is 1 plus 7. 1 plus 7, 8. 8 plus 8, 16. For 16, right here, 6 and 1. Next, friends, 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. For 10, right here, 0 and 1. 1 plus 2. So Ajay's income in 2012 is 2 lakh 6,287. Yes, and this is first part of question number 8. First part of question number eight. Now, second part. In second part, we will find how much money Ajay earned during these two years. For this one, first we'll write the Ajay's income in 2011, this one. Then Ajay's income in 2012, this one. We'll add this number and this one. To find the total income of Ajay during these two years. Clear, students? Now, eighth question, second part. Eighth question, second part. Ajay's income in 2011. Income in 2011. Then Ajay's income in 2012. In 2011, uh, his income is uh, 167489 489 and uh, in 2012 2 lakh 6000 2 lakh 6287 Now find Ajay's income in two years.
in two years. Yes, students, to find the total income of these two years, we will add and find how much Ajay earn in during these two years. Now, students, add these numbers. First is nine plus seven. Nine plus seven. Is 16 for 16 right here 6 and 1 yeah. now 8 plus 8 16 plus 1 17 8 plus 8 16 plus 1 17 for 17 right here 7 and 1 Clear students. Next is one plus four. One plus four is five. Five plus two, seven. Five plus two, seven. Next is seven plus six. Seven plus six is thirteen. 7 plus 6 is 13. For 13, write here 3 and 1. Seven plus 6, 13. Write here 3 and 1. Tell you. Now 6 plus 1, 7. 6 plus 1, 7. 2 plus 1 is 3. So Ajay's income in two years is three lakh. The answer is Ajay's income during these two years is rupees three lakh seventy three thousand seven hundred seventy six rupees. Yes, friends, Ajay's income during these two years is 3,73,776. Clear, students? Next question is the ninth. Question number ninth. Yes, students. Uh, your, your ninth question is In a particular year, in a particular year, the male population of a city was 37,989 more than the female population. Yes, students, read this statement carefully. In a particular year, the male population of a city was 37,989 more than the female population. If the number of females, if the number of females be 1,48,796, now find the male population and for in first step find the male population uh, and second part is what was the total population students again in ninth question we have two parts in first part we will find the male population and in second part we will find the total population in this in, in the city Yes, students. To find, first we'll write number of females in the city. Females are females are one lakh forty eight thousand. One lakh forty eight thousand seven hundred ninety six. Females are 1,48,796. 
and uh, number of more males are more males are 37000 37000 989 989 now in first part find the male population male population yes friends to find the male population we will add these two numbers and find male population in the city <coughs> next now students add six plus nine six plus nine is fifteen so write here five and one can Next students, nine plus one, nine plus one is ten, and ten plus eight, eighteen. Nine plus one, ten, ten plus eight, eighteen. So write here eight and one. Now one plus seven. One plus seven eight plus nine. Eight plus nine is seventeen. So I have seven and one. Okay. Now friends. One plus eight, one plus eight, nine, nine plus seven, nine plus uh, seven, sixteen. For sixteen students, write here six and one. Okay. Next is four plus one, five. Four plus one five, five plus three is eight, and one. So, students, male population is male population in the city is one lakh eighty six thousand seven hundred eighty five. So, this is your first part. Now, your first part is solved. Now, find the total population. Now, second part. Now find the popula total population. For to find the total population, first we'll write the number of females. This number. First we'll write the number of females. <coughs> then we will write the number of males. Add these two numbers and find the total population. In first step, write females. One lakh forty eight thousand seven hundred ninety six and males one lakh eighty six thousand seven hundred eighty five. Now add these two. This is second part. Ninth question, second part. Now find the total population. Total population now add and find the total population. Yes, students. Uh, six plus five, six plus five is eleven. One, one can nine plus one, ten. Nine plus one ten plus eight eighteen for eighteen students right here eight 
and one next is 7 plus 1 7 plus 1 8 and 8 plus 7 is 15 15 right here 5 and 1 next is 8 plus 1 9 8 plus 1 9 and 9 plus 6 9 plus 6 Again, 15. 1. Okay. Next is 4 plus, fa 4 plus 1, 5. And uh, 5 plus 8, 13. Right here, 3 and 1. 1, 2, 3. So, students, total population is 3 lakh. Total population is three lakh thirty five thousand five hundred eighty one. Total population is three lakh thirty five thousand five hundred eighty one. Clear students? So this is ninth question first part and second part in first part we'll find the male population and in second part we we'll find the total population clear students now last question this exercise is question number 10 yes students your tenth question is in an election 5648 were found invalid the <coughs> defeated candidate received 39476 votes and the winning candidate receives uh, 13648 votes more than votes more than the losing candidates now in first part find how many votes were received by winning candidate then second how many total votes were polled yes students tenth question first part yes students tenth question first part uh, votes received by defeated candidate votes Received by by defeated candidate. Candidate. These are uh, thirty nine thousand. 39,476 votes. Clear, beta? Next, more votes of more votes of winning candidate. Winning candidate. That is. Thirteen thousand, thirteen thousand six hundred forty-eight. Now, in first part, find votes received by winning candidate. To find this, students will add these two numbers to uh, votes received by winning candidate. Now, add these two numbers and for unfind. Votes received by winning candidate. 8 plus 6 is uh, 14. So write here 4 and 1. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Write here 2 and 1. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 6 is 11. 1. 9 plus 1, 10 plus 3, 13. 
थ्री प्लस वन फोर फाइव स्टूडेंट्स वोट रिसीव बाय विनिंग कैंड विनर कैंडिडेट इज फिफ्टी थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर सो आंसर ऑफ फर्स्ट पार्ट इज फिफ्टी थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर वोट्स now find how many uh, total votes were polled second part 10th question second part now first we'll write the votes received by uh, winning candidate votes of winning candidate candidate is fifty three thousand one hundred twenty four votes, and votes of defeated candidate is fifty three thousand one hundred twenty four votes. Four hundred seventy six and uh, five thousand six hundred forty eight votes are invalid. Now write invalid votes. Invalid votes. These are five thousand six hundred forty eight. Now, students, add these three numbers and find total votes polled in this city. Now, add and find the answer. Okay, students. So, students, today your homework is complete exercise nine in your fair notebooks. Thank you.